Hello and welcome to Africa in Demand, your gateway to everything Africa. I'm here in the home of Chef Owai, the CEO and founder of Nyla's Catering, as she prepares for a Night of Giving Gala taking place this weekend, Saturday, October the 25th, in Burtonsville, Maryland, at the Praisner Hall. For more information, please visit our website, www.africaindemand.com, or go to nylafeedthechildren.org. As you can see, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done while she prepares for this very worthy cause. Our own Nunu talks to her more about what to expect at this wonderful gala. How did you find out about Link a Child? Um, I found out about Link a Child through my PR, Bobby Taylor, who um, I had contacted when um, Nyla's Catering was turning two. I decided to do something different because I felt I mean, I had so much, so much success this year with my catering business that I figured it was time to give back. I mean, it's two years old, but I felt that we were where we could say, we're not there yet, but we could actually turn around and actually help someone because obviously we started from zero. So Bobby gave us two organizations and um, I did a little research on both of them. And Link a Child actually touched me more because it had, I mean, it has children in it and not just kids, but these kids really do need help five to 15 years old, and these kids live on the streets. So that was when we talked, we actually contacted Link a Child and we decided to help them raise funds. But during the whole process, we ended up finding, we ended up learning more that Link a Child actually had this project called Lots, Love on the Streets. And part of their, um, part of what they were trying to do was go out there, raise money, feed these kids on the streets, try and get them education, try and try to let them, draw them back to the orphanages but they rather actually stay on the streets. So if that's what they're comfortable with, then in their own environment, then why don't we just help them by making sure that they don't have to turn the other way, which is steal or get, you know, get in trouble, going to jail, having to do, I mean, some of them are girls, so obviously at that age, prostitution is something that's really big, and those are their options. So if Link a Child is able to actually raise this, many, um, this much money for them, why not help them with it and see where it goes? Are these kids truly homeless, as in they don't have their parents in they existence? They don't have their parents in existence. They don't have any relative or, I mean, I don't think necessarily that, I mean, some of them don't. Some of them find themselves on the streets. So it's where they are now, you know, whatever happened to them back then. We do, I mean, some of them won't even talk about it, you know. So if we can help them, as in push them in the right way, in the right direction, then that's what we need to do. So what exactly is your goal with this gala? My goal with this gala, it being my first, is to actually help create an awareness and to help raise funds to make sure that these kids have the basic needs that they, they, they lack. They lack water, good clean water, food, clothes, you know, education at the lowest level. Try and create an awareness to the public and the Nigerians here in the United States that this is what's going on back home and we need to actually wake up and help. Are you planning to be an affiliate indefinitely or are you just doing this for a one-time thing? Uh, it's looking like, I mean, because I had the, um, the uh, president of Link a Child send a letter to help us, you know, get the visas for everyone coming from Nigeria. And the letter he wrote actually did touch me. He actually did state that, I mean, that was when we actually found out the actual age for these kids and I mean, what they really were trying to do. And they're actually trying to open up a soup kitchen in Lagos. So I know for a fact that this is not the last. If I can actually help them with the kitchen, you know, help them set it up and whatever they need, offer my services, I'll be there. That's definite. I understand Link a Child is embarking on a project called LOTS. Can you elaborate on that? Project LOTS is a, um, a means by which Link a Child is helping raise funds for children not in the orphanage home. These kids live on the streets. They, they feel more comfortable there for some reason. So what Project Lots is about is helping them get, mu get the basic needs that they do need. Food, water, a place to go if they really want to go home. You know, a, a place called home really, you know, where they can help themselves, build themselves, grow from there. 
it's more like a sanctuary. So we're trying to help uh, Project Lots raise money to continue this vision of theirs. At this gala that you are giving on October 25th, what should your attendees expect? We're hoping to create more awareness about Project Lots. We're act we have actually invited um, the one of the co-founders to come talk to everyone and actually address this issue with us. And also um, Miss Nigerian America, who happened, who this is another project which is close to her heart, has actually decided to come down and speak on behalf of Project Lots as well. And for people to come and support your cause and attend this gala, how can they obtain information as well? Uh, I mean, for this weekend as well as for future future references. Um, we created a website, nilafeedthechildren.org.org. And um, you can buy your tickets there, or you can go straight to eventbrite.com and purchase your ticket. Or you can even call me, my direct cell phone number, 240-643-6687. You. You're welcome. Every year, millions of African children go without food, clean water, and shelter. Please join us, Africa in Demands, along with Nala's Catering, this Saturday, October 25th, 6 p.m. sharp. Eat so they can eat.